How we doing today, family? Today, we are gonna be doing the Dive Rise MP5 challenge. Now, the world record for this is 34, so we're gonna see what we can do. I haven't done this challenge in a very long time, and a lot of you guys probably know why. All right, hold on, let's just test, let's test. I can, I will, I must. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. I can. Want me to keep the others alive? I'm. What is wrong with my life? Why do I live this way? Why am I the way that I am? Why are you the way that you are? I I don't even know where you're supposed to place this, but I guess we'll just figure it out. Watch me still die. I've never done it. Like this. this is the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. That's gotta be right. He tried it. He <laughs> needed me, bro. Oh no. However, we're gonna be going off the Zombie World Record community leaderboard site. And what that states is you basically use the trample steam to get over. And that way you can, uh, you don't actually have to hit the jump or anything. So you don't have a trample steam. Um, like I said, I haven't done this challenge in a very long time. I haven't trained that area in a very long time, but I do really remember liking this challenge quite a bit. Not nearly as much as Mob. I think Mob MP5 is probably the greatest zombie challenge ever. But I, I always had a lot of love for Die Rise. Yeah, so this is going to be the actual first attempt of the Daraz MP5 challenge. Guys, thank you for tuning in to today's video. If you guys do enjoy it, please do me a favor. Leave me a thumbs up. Give it a like. Give it a subscribe if you're not subscribed already, guys. We'll be grinding a lot of YouTube going into Black Ops 5 or Black Ops Cold War, actually. Um, I'm going to be doing it all throughout the year as well. I'm really excited, man. This is the most excited I've been for a Call of Duty game in truly some time and uh it's 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 gonna be awesome man i'm really excited i just hope we get some good zombies hope we get some good multi i hope warzone stays popping and we still have perma jug so we're we're good right now we are good let's let's just grab this because i'm a little i'm a little nervous i'm not gonna lie so i may have um <clears throat> we may have failed on our first attempt here I, I you know is it right here i hope it's right here i'm so scared i'm not gonna lie i think we should be good with that or are we gonna fling too far? Fling so hard. I fling so hard! <clears throat> we're just we're just gonna we're gonna have to cut that one out, Austin. That's I don't that, that's I don't understand. It's not good at all. Why are you doing this? Um what happened was I was doing the Die Rise MP5 challenge, but I also decided to play blindfolded. I don't know if well uh, I meant my eyes closed, not blind. I mean, monitor off. Yeah, I was playing with the monitor off, so uh, we actually ended up failing. It's not uncommon for me to play with my monitor off, honestly. Um, it's one thing that I found out, like, about eye strain. Uh, big shout out to the sponsor, Glassy. Use code VSAT for 10% off of all Glassy purchases. But, um, yeah, it's a further reduced eye strain. A lot of times I actually like to play with my monitor off. And I also noticed that it keeps the playing field a little bit more level um, with me compared to some other zombie players because of, you know, I don't like to brag or anything. You guys know that. But <clears throat> being one of the greatest zombie players to ever touch the controller and or keyboard and mouse, sometimes I just like to level the playing field. Um, however, this time I, I feel like we should play with the monitor on. So I just want to make it very clear that the monitor is in fact on this game. And um, we're going to probably, we're going to try a little bit here. We're going to see what we can do. We're going to see if we get something going here. So we just need the flag and then we should be all set. We also do need the quick revive though. So let's make sure we, let's make sure we get that. Make sure we get that. But yeah, the world record for this challenge is 34. Please let me know in the comment section down below before watching this entire video, because you know you guys want to watch this entire video, what round you guys think we're going to get to. I think we should be able to get to 20, at least no issues. That That's my prediction. That's my guess right now. I don't think that should be too hard. Now, granted, it has been forever since we've done this challenge, because 
of what you guys have just saw in that last attempt uh, from the outtakes is we have a little bit of we have some issues getting over there to the to the mp5 so yeah let's uh let's let's try and avoid any further issues and let's see if we can actually uh play this challenge out a little bit because the last time we played it you know i have a lot of fun this is one of the better zombie challenges not as good as mob mp5 if you ask me but it's it's arguably right up there with it as one of the best zombie challenges we may just have to review the footage real quick to make sure we know how to get over there. I thought I did going into this run, but apparently I do not. And that's, uh, it's not good. It's not good at all. Actually, no. We don't need to review footage. We're totally sad. If we're being honest. Oh. Okay, we're good. Alright, it's like... Yeah, just need... Boom. Boom shakalaka. Beautiful. That's it right there, baby. Need to be about three... Th about 26 degrees from the edge. And then you just... Fling a ding a ding, yes sir. Uh, just, just like we said, baby. Just have to do a little something like that. Nothing, nothing crazy, you know. Nothing crazy at all. Just, just like that. What can I tell you? Just like that. Oh, I can't afford it. That's a little. Okay, that's a little unfortunate. We, we may or may not be struggling in the point department, but that's okay. Because we still have our knives. All right. Now that we are here, this is the first time we have been here in. I would say literally years. Normally the way I would play this challenge is we would jump from, I think it's right there, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but we are playing with the uh, Zombie World Record community leaderboard. And apparently their rules states that we need to use the trample scene to get over here. Which to me is not really even the true MP5 challenge if you ask me. Uh, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say anything, because you know why? I, it's not like I can get over here anyways without it, so. <laughs> so I'm more than okay doing this right now. More than okay doing this right now. I, I, I have no issues. I see no issues. We just gotta make sure we can actually get the MP5. Because we seem to be a little bit broke. And now we can, and we are good. Alright, let's go, baby. I just, like I said, I don't know if I want to go for perks or not. Knifing these jumping jacks is going to be a little bit hard. I mean, we could shoot them. We just can't miss any shots. And I don't know if that's worth. But I also don't know if who's... Well, I guess who's who might be worth. Who's who is like one of the worst perks in zombie history, honestly. But that might not be bad. Like I said, it's been a while since we run this. So it is going to be definitely going to take a little bit to kind of remember how we indeed run this. I know this is like the main point of emphasis for training. Um, and then we can use over here. kind of Kind of duck in here, but... This is going to be way more of the emphasis, so hopefully for these early rounds, we got to just make sure I actually shoot the zombies. That will be very beneficial. At least we got a nice little line of sight on that guy, and then we also got a nice little line of sight on these guys as well, so... And like I said, we do have Permajug. Permajug is permitted. I wasn't totally sure, but reviewing uh, some they other people's games, point. they all had Permajug from what I've seen, so... I don't see there, there should be any issue with it, but... Like I said, I'm not really paying for any really leaderboard status anyways. Um, that's just more so a bonus. Kind of just more so playing for us as we normally do. And then if we're able to hit leaderboard status, that's fantastic. If not, th that's not really bothersome anyways. Just because the whole run, point of run is not really for that, so. Nice. Very nice and easy so far. I'm going to start off by knifing. I think we might have the jacks this round. I don't remember when they come exactly because it has been quite a while since we've done some die res. But I think we might have jacks now. No? Next round? Maybe next round. Maybe it's like Kino and you get them like anywhere between 5 and 7. I I'm not really totally sure, honestly. Not totally sure. I don't remember if there's any other perma perks we can get. I know there's like, I think there's like perma QR and perma tombstone. I don't really remember how to get those. Nor do I know if that's like part of this or anything. I really genuinely don't remember, but I don't think we really need it. I think we'll be fine as long as we have perma jug. I think perma jug is kind of a must. And it seems like I said, reviewing everyone else's footage, everyone ran it as well. So I even saw some people turn the power on. So, which is interesting. I couldn't find the actual like rules. That I was looking for. Trying to see like all the rules that are permitted for this challenge. But right, so far so good. Those drops are going to be really key. I'm not going to lie. If we can get a good set of drops for us. We'll definitely be rolling. There you go. I was going to say jumping jacks the sooner. Jumping jacks the better. All right. Maybe we should try a knife. 
Let's try and knife off the rip. I don't know how many there are. I think it's, what, six or eight? Probably the same as, like, puppies. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. I'm not dealing with this. Yeah, I'm not dealing with this. I'm not doing I'm sorry. I, I can't deal with that. That's not happening. Like, look at these fools. Look at these fools, bro. Like, are you kidding me? Somebody, somebody come take a look at this. Will somebody come take a look at this? These dudes are out of their goddamn minds, yo. Bro, they're like literally Novas on steroids, I just realized. They literally look like no- Oh, is there only four of them? Oh, we should have knifed them. I'm a, I'm a bot. Wait, are we supposed to get a max? Am I spazzing? I thought you were supposed to get a max. Uh, dude, I don't know. It's been re it's truly no bots had in here. It's truly been that long since we've done this. So I, I really don't remember exactly. It really has. I really like Die Rise. Let me know also in the comments, guys. I'll, I got a, got a few comment questions, but do me a favor. Post them in the chat, yo. Post them in the comments, man. I'm going to read all the comments. I'll respond to pretty much all the comments as well. How, what do you guys feel about Die Rise? Is Die Rise one of your favorite Black Ops 2 zombie maps? How does Die Rise rank in the maps for you? Because I've always had a... I've always had a love for this map. I really have. The, the issue that I find with this map is I really don't like the high round strat. It's like, honestly, most of the uh, BO2 maps, like outside of Mob, like even like Origins, Die Rise, Buried, a lot of a lot of camp heavy strats. I really don't like it. I mean, they don't seem to be as like overpowered or as bad as like a BO3 or BO4, but if this map was more like hoarding, I would definitely like, I, I don't know. I, I would like it a lot more. I just don't like how those maps are. So I don't think we need to be hoarding this early. So let's just be very careful here. Oh, let's not do that. Like I said, I think this is going to be our main point of emphasis right over here. I'm actually a little surprised this broke down so early on us. But an insta kill for next round is going to be really clutch. That would also be clutch for the jumping jacks. Yeah. All right. We're going to aim for at least 20. I mean, realistically, I'd like to get 30, but... But just because, like I said, I haven't done this in years, it's going to be challenging to say the least. Place the last second. QR will be good. The one is, the one thing that I'm unsure of, though, is do you lose Permajog when you're down? I think you do, right? I really... I genuinely don't remember that either. I have no idea. Yeet. Yeet. Yeah, I don't know. For me, though, I have to say, like, Mob of the Dead is probably my favorite Black Ops 2 map. And then, I, I don't know, man. Buried, as time has gone on, has definitely grown on me. But definitely the same issues with Die Rise, you know? The thing that I really like about Buried is the theme, man. The underground western theme. So good. Such a good map, man. Such a cool map. It really is. The low round strategy is really fun, too, man. And you guys know me. Like, I enjoy my zombies as far as, like... I really enjoy, like, the themes of the map, but also as, like, the strategies go. I think the strat... Oh, that was some bots at. Would have been really nice if we saved that for next round, but that's okay. It's okay, that's okay. Let's board these up. Bada bing, bada boom. By the way, I'm going to be saying a few things in the chat, or right now, saying, like, leave a, leave a comment in the video. Do me a favor, just number them for the questions and, and just respond with the answers. Because the last question that I want to give to you guys right now is, do me a favor, and in the comments, a part of all the other comments that I've had you guys drop, let me know, man, what is it, zombie challenges, that you guys want to see from your boy. Give them to me, man. Post them. Mob and, that, mob and P5 is definitely going to happen. What other ones do you guys have on your radar that you want to see from me? Because I've always loved zombie challenges. And I still do, baby. And I would love to get back into them because I truly haven't done them in quite some time. Okay. It'll be interesting to see when walkers start spawning in how that's going to go. Not a fan of that. Carpenter? I'll take that. Ten round anyways, though. I don't think we really want to go back here, but it is end round, and we're still a pretty low round. So we'll have no issue running and gunning. I think we might... I think we can hit, like, a cutback right here, though. That should be fine. It's just this door is kind of small, but this is... I think that's the emphasis as far as we want to go. Ooh, an insta-kill would have been really nice, but that's okay. I, I might try and honestly knife him up here right now. Jump at me and see what happens. 
Because it doesn't seem like there are many jumping jacks like there are pups. Okay, there we go. One down. I kind of regret not knifing the uh, first guys now. I don't remember, actually, if we get... If you get Jug with Perma Jug, is it like steroid Jug? I don't know. I really don't know. I don't remember. It's wild the things I've forgotten about Black Ops 2, honestly. Look at these dudes. Look at these dudes, bro. It's like some Kung Fu fighting. Like, come on, man. These dudes are insane. You can't tell me they're not Novas on Roids, yo. These dudes are yoked. Ah! Ah! Run, Forrest! Hey, fuck you, man. Also, the problem is Black Ops 2 knifing is just not... It's like using a wooden spoon, man. Like, look at these dudes. Bruce Lee out here, bro. Eat. Oh, Lord have mercy. Uh-oh. Well, that, that went well. So, there's only four of them. Which means we should have been knifing the entire time. But that's okay. That's okay. Come on. Come, come, come. All right, round 11, baby. Only nine away from the from the minimum goal. That's That should be cake. That should be cake. I love these lines of sights, too. Really advantageous. The one issue about this challenge compared, I would say, to mob is the fact of uh, where, the, where the wall buy is for the MP5. It's a little bit of a struggle, honestly. I wonder if we should have got ammo by now. Oh! Oh! Don't do that. You don't do blood bag. No. Pick it back up. Oh, I am I'm not feeling you. confidence right now, I'm not gonna lie. Right, we could be good. Woo! Nice. Cake, cake, cake. Yeah. Ooh, end round insta? And yeah, that should be an end round insta, just about. There we go. Alright, so we saw the green mist. I don't know what that was for, though, if I'm being honest with you. I really have no idea. I don't remember what it is with headshots, exactly, so. We'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> Honestly, I really don't remember. I know, man. I know. I sound like such a bot right now, man. Oh, no. Nuke went. I wanted to grab the nuke. Oh, that's okay. Cut you like butter. Cut you like butter. Stoolinger? Samuel Stoolinger? I think we set our goal too low, honestly. I think we should be able to knock 20 out of the park. I'm not I'm not getting cocky, but I don't think 20 is that big boy of a round. If anyone put under 20 in the comment section, by the way, that's some fraudulent stuff right there, bro. Have no faith in your boy. Breaks my heart. End round insta? Clutch. You just love to see it. You just absolutely love to see it. Oh, I wonder if it's Jax, too. I wonder if it's Jax. Is it Jax? I don't remember last Jack round. Six. Nah, I don't think it is. That would have been clutch, though. I'll tell you what, though. The one thing about the jumping Jax is really good. It's kind of a guaranteed easy round. I actually totally forgot about that. Time to spread the joy. Easy, easy. No? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I thought there was another window there. I guess not. Bro, it's like the, the spawns wanted to drastically slow down when they saw that we got an insta-kill. Some fraudulent. Absolutely fraudulent. 
I'm good with the max, honestly. It would've been nice to get, but that's okay. <clears throat> okay, I thought we were actually gonna have to double cut that, but I think we're totally... Ooh, slow walk this one. Beautiful. I still got it, baby! Come on now, come on now. Chigale, chigale. We still got it. I have no idea what that mist is. I think we have Jax now. I could be mistaken, but I think we got the Jax. Like I said, the biggest question mark is going to be truly, though, if we keep our perma jug or not when we down. Because if we don't, then we're bad news bears. But if we do, then we're going to be totally set. I mean, I don't really have too many issues training in tight spots, especially with, like, mob MP5. But the thing about mob MP5 in particular is you obviously have the afterlives, but, like, I don't know. I feel like it's kind of an easier hoard up area opposed to die rise. Alright, 15, baby. Five rounds away from the minimum. We should get another jack round. I think it's four or five. So, yeah, we should definitely get another jack round by then. Let's see, man. Like I said, I wish I truly remembered what my personal best was. But I don't have any old Die Rise MP5 footage, unfortunately. Like, anywhere. Which is really sad. Because it would be really cool to see some of that. But, especially... It, I mean, it would just be awesome for to see me actually hit the Die Rise jump. <laughs> that would be really nice to see. Let's grab that then. I probably could have waited a little bit more, but I want to buy some more ammo too. That's going to be my biggest scare, honestly, is going over there. Depending on spawns. We got to try our best to get like as much of them over here as we can before buying ammo. Because then the cutback will be a lot easier. We also got to be on the lookout because I believe we should be start getting walkers too. So those fukers could really mess things up for us. Yep, there you go. We got one already in the crib. We got one already in the crib. Dude, just chilling in my kitchen. I don't like it. It's a bootlegged kitchen, by the way. I'm not really feeling this kitchen. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Take that carpet there. Should be in round, though. Nice. Oh, yeah, now you want to become a runner, buddy? Too late, my dude. All right, let's go. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I think they can jump up, right? Is that what it is? I don't know. Obviously, drops are going to be really beneficial, too. Hopefully, we get some good drop luck. That would be an absolute game changer as well. <laughs> I'm going to try my best just to honestly grab as much ammo as I possibly can. When we're, like, really safe to do so. I don't know if it would be more beneficial to kind of mow them down like we're doing or just hoard them all up. But I think for these earlier rounds, we should mow them down, especially if we get lucky with drops. But right, we got some more walkers now. Looks like we got a couple of them. Oh, oh, that could have been bad. Oh, see, that's not great timing. Uh, that's perfect timing right there, though. See, it's not... Oh, we got to be a little bit more decisive on that. Indecisiveness is going to get you killed in zombies. Can't be doing that. No, no, no. No, no, no. Not today. Also, we gotta be a, a do a better job of mowing down these walkers. Coral! No! Why are there so many walkers, Coral? Yeah! Yeah! Grab some more ammo. We're in round. Any who's? Who's? Who? Alright, 17. 
We might get Jax next round too, which is awesome. No drop. Oh no, we had a double points that round. Okay. Oh, there you go. That's solid. Trying to get as much here as we can before we grab it. That looks like we should be good now. Totally good. Perfect. Maybe we'll get lucky with the drop too. Yep, I hear a drop. What we get? Insta! Insta, insta! I'm gonna grab it, honestly. We probably could have held it, but... Ah, uh, maybe not. I think that was the right call. I thought that would, like, bring us a little bit closer to end round, but that was definitely the right call. I don't know why I thought we'd be a lot closer to end round. That's really... That's ridiculous. Alright, let's get some boards on these windows, too. Play, play a little bit safe. Yep! <laughs> oh lord. Oh lord. Magic getting one zombie. Oh my god, lol. That would have been embarrassing. Going Jax? Okay. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, honestly. I was wondering if maybe we should get him for 19. So we get that 20, but that's okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I prefer when you keep rotten flesh on ground level. Dude, the noises they make are so Woo! Beaming, man. These are such unique zombies. It's kind of crazy that we didn't see more of them. Yo, imagine if we would have seen them in, like, actual zombie rounds, too. And not that, like, it's just a boss round. Woo! That would have been crazy, man. Alright, 19. We are one away from the minimum goal. Honestly, we did it a little... Well, knock on wood. I probably just jinxed it. We've done it a little bit more easily than I actually anticipated. So, I'll take it. I will certainly take it. We have to change the uh, this FPS too. I unredacted. I have it so we're on like 120, but for some reason we've just been locked on 60. Ooh, I want to buy some ammo before we dip. It's like they're all coming over here for some reason. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. Let's play safe. Nice little slow walk, slow walk, slow walk. Yeah, now we might be more in the mood for full hordes, honestly. Or close to it, at least. Yeet. Yeet. Uh-oh. No! Sally, 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 Sally. Okay, there we go. All right, the question mark will be, do we indeed still have permajog? That insta-kill might have gotten us the 20. If we have permajog, we're good. If we don't, we're not good. And we're not going to find out now, hopefully. That's the plan. We'll find out, hopefully, next round by the minimum. Oh! Woo! I think that's end round, baby. That is absolutely perfect. All right, so we got the bare minimum. As long as we don't get one zombie, we got the bare minimum. Wow, this guy will not die. Okay, brother, I feel you. I feel you. Alright, we got the bare minimum, but the question mark still remains. Do we have permajug? If we have permajug, we're living. We are living. If we don't, we're not. <laughs> we're not at all. This will be found out probably this round. We'll either get double hit and die stay alive i'm gonna try and buy some ammo right now we need to get blessed with the drop gods come on zombie drop gods right, let's do a nice little oop not a fan of this development all right good perfect not a fan of this development good all right let's go this way let's not play that game
Perfect. Let's see a nuke. How about that? No? No nuke? Alright, that's okay. Max ammo solid. Allow me to avoid going over there, so I'll, I'll certainly take a max ammo right now. Let's grab that. Let's grab that, because I don't know where we are hit-wise. I think we still have permajug, though, honestly. But I genuinely don't remember, so we're going to be caught by surprise if we just get double hit and die. Is he not going to die? What a squid boy. Oh. No! Alright guys, 20 on our first try on Die Rise. I mean, we set the goal, but that's why you gotta set your goals ridiculously high. Because if you don't reach them, by the way, let's get some let's get some light in here. You know what I'm saying? That way, if you don't reach them, or you just keep going. But that is gonna do it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. We'll probably have to run that one back. Because my first attempt in a couple years doing that, not too bad. But it should have been a lot better. What We learned, we definitely gotta start knifing them, but... I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up. If you're not subbed already, please drop a sub. That would help me out. We're going to have a lot of zombie videos, a lot of COD videos coming for you guys all year long going into Black Ops Cold War and above and beyond. So, guys, thank you for tuning in. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!